for what you are, but for what I am when I'm with you. I love you not only for what you have made yourself, but for what you are making of me. I love you for the part of me that you bring out. I love you for putting your hand into my heaped up heart and passing over all the foolish weak things that you can't help. Dimly seeing there and for drawing out into the light all the beautiful belongings that no one else had looked quite far enough to find. I love you because you are helping me to make out of the lumber of my life not a tavern but a temple. Out of the works of my everyday not a reproach but a song. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, without a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. Perhaps that is what being a friend means after all. person I call when I need somebody with a keen appreciation for the absurd. Not many people actually have that, you'd be surprised. <laughs> She's the kind of friend who will fly 6,000 miles to see you and who never forgets a birthday. But what I love the most about her is that she's the kind of friend who will argue politics, switch to art, show me a picture of her new puppy, Gitana, and order a second or third martini, all in the same breath. She keeps you guessing, even as she remains incredibly loyal. Sarah once quoted, I say, if your knees aren't green by the end of the day, you ought to seriously reconsider your life. Well, I just wanted to say what an amazing ceremony, what a wonderful ceremony that was so unique and caught the type of culture and flavor that both of you come from. And you know, Sarah, congratulations, what, what a wonderful catch as a man. Come on, give it up for Avi, he's, a, he's got it going on, right? So I do want to, uh, I do want to toast you both, um, Sarah. Lucky Ubby. I could understand why Ubby is lucky based off of the fact that he's with you, Sarah. Um, and I do wish you guys a lifetime of happiness, uh, a lifetime of creative cooking, and a lifetime of love. One of Sarah's favorite quotes, which actually appears in the bottom of her email, is by the author E.B. White. White once wrote, Every morning I awake torn between a desire to save the world and an inclination to savor it. This makes it hard to plan the day. I think this quote sums up pretty well Sarah's outlook on life.
to the celebration of Sarah Jaffe and Abby Singh's marriage and commitment to a life together. Thank you for being here in support and love of them and of their families. Sarah, as your husband, I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and devotion. As a symbol of my love and devotion. Abby, you may now kiss the bride. <laughs> life together.